I'm at IIT uh, Bombay and I'm speaking to Udayan Ganguly, who's the founder and CEO of Numelo. Udayan, hello, how are you? Hi. So you're a startup uh, which is just a uh, recently startup uh, and you're doing AI chips. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what you're up to and maybe just when, uh, when you got founded and why. How did, you, how did the idea come about? Yeah, thank you for the uh, question. So we started off in 2021. Uh, to start this company and the idea came for a bunch of uh, PhD theses that we were developing um, so the question for us was that you know most data is real-time and a lot of people would just want fast processing for servers but for computing in the edge you really want something that is slow which is real-time kilohertz speed but really tiny yeah and that's how we started thinking about this problem of building neural network chips based or inspired by the human brain. And that's where Numelo started. Well, I mean, that's been a, a little bit of a, a thing that a lot of people have been trying to do. And you know, you, you know, organizations like CA, Letty have been talking about it for a while, but also you've had companies like BrainChip. How are you doing this differently? I think you said you slowed things down. Right, so the slowing things down requires uh, talking about the physics of it, right? Mm. So when you make a transistor smaller, uh, the transistor becomes fast. Hmm. And that's how Moore's law and scaling, that's the fundamental aspects of that, right? That's right. the basis. Yeah. Now, whenever you want to make something slow, what you really need to do is to make a tiny device very resistive. Hmm. And so the way we do it is by using quantum tunneling, oh, okay. which yes. yeah. appears in the silicon insulator technology uh, transistors and that's what we use as a current source a very low quantum tunneling based current source okay and that's the basis of the neuron current source which we then integrate and so now you have very small uh, very large RC time constants which is close to kilohertz which is how uh, the speed at which the brain works interesting and um, what kind of success if you've taped out one chip already you had funding uh, so you can tell us a little bit about how you've know, been funding yourself, but then you've taken out one chip and you're, you're working on your second chip to characterize that, is that right? That's right. So the idea started with uh, you know, simple transistors that we characterized yeah. and we understood the effect and we realized that uh, the quantum tunneling effect is not very well captured. Okay. So we had to tape out the first chip, which was a complete end-to-end neuron, synapse, neuron, signal chain. Yeah. And that came out in about uh, 2020, uh, 2020, right? Around the time when uh, we were toying with building the company. Okay. And it worked out really well. Okay. And, uh, and that was on the global foundries process? That was on the 45 global foundries, nanometer. Yeah. 45 nanometer process. And this was part of their uh, university program. Okay. So that was a free tape out for us because these are really difficult tip to get access exactly. to. Yeah. And so it was very exciting and you know, thanks to Global Foundries for helping us there. And okay. that help has continued, so we built our second chip and that's what we are testing now. So, and the results are very encouraging. And, and you've had some funding already from AMD, is that right? We have had some uh, CSR funding oh, for okay. the company. Okay. And this is uh, AMD's way to talk about reducing uh, the, f the power required for AI. So power is a huge concern. Yes. And while data centers are trying to burn power, mm. at least on the edge, you need really efficient systems. Mm. And that's been our approach. So you're at a very early stage right now, but what's your journey? Uh, what's, the, what's the next step? Yeah, so this is actually something we are learning how to do yeah. because we are from the university and we are working with uh, folks in the industry, people who are veterans from the semiconductor Silicon Valley and Cenex is actually helping us, and I think we'll talk about that later. Yeah. But we are trying to get to hook our first three customers, mm. build the specifications for the first main prototype, mm. and prove out about three to five applications to build a more or less semi-general purpose uh, chip. And once that happens, uh, we will go for investors to invest and see what happens. So what's the timeline on that? So our sense is that we've had very encouraging discussions with various companies. Some of them are startups, some of them are mid-sized, some of them are large companies. Right. Uh, 
Uh, we see the pull. Uh, we think in the next four months we will have some solid specifications down with some right. feasibility demonstrated. And then maybe in the next six months, the four to six months time frame, we raise funds. Interesting. And, and these conversations are not just with Indian companies, they're global companies. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. Uh, and that's the key point I think you wanted to make as well. That's right. And that's part of the IIT Bombay Center because they're about a very strong industry affiliate program. Yeah. And there are about six major global companies that are part of the consortium. Uh, there are some Indian companies as well who Got are it. starting to talk to us. So it's an exciting time. Well, Udayan, thank you very much for telling us a little bit of what you're doing. And we look forward to hearing a lot more. But uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.